One could make a reasonable argument that climate change is amongst the top, if not one of the top issues of, of our time and will be a major issue going forward for all people. What we wanted to do was create a course that was both broad and deep at the same time. The appeal for first-year students, I think, is really that what it does is it provides them a way of learning about the diversity of issues with climate change. They'll learn something about the physical science of climate change. They'll learn some of the issues about how we know about climate change and how we know climates are changing. And particularly, they're going to get a lot of exposure to understanding the consequences of climate change for humans, for, for natural problems processes and things like that. Climate change is so crucial to study because the consequences that it, that it does play on, on our future, not just physically, financially, health-wise, it goes across the boards. You're going to learn about conservation biology from Peter Raven, who is a National Academy uh, specialist. You're going to learn about geology from Dean Jen Smith, who is a geoscientist. You're going to learn about atmospheric chemicals from Brent Williams in engineering. You're going to learn a bit about archaeology from me. When you come to the class, one of the things that you're going to get exposed to are the different thinking and the different ideas about climate science. It's an incredibly exciting opportunity to really think about these major issues and to challenge yourself to understand what are the fundamental problems behind climate science, what is the, the science, what is the um, hype, and what are some of the arguments about climate science. You're going to get exposed to a diverse number of views from people who, who don't always agree with one another about the specifics of what even the climate scholarship is. From an engineering perspective, engineers can be challenged with coming up with new technologies that are more energy efficient or producing energy in a completely new way. The first part of the class is really offering a physical base of climate science, and then we transition to how do we know that climates are changing, and some of the, the tools and the proxies that we use to understand that it's changing. And then the last third of the class is all about the consequences of climate change to humans and, and ecosystems. What I really liked about the class was the interdisciplinary approach that the professors took to the class. We got to see an expert, basically, for each topic that was covered in the class, and so we got a new perspective each time. And then also, I was a political science major, but there are a bunch of math majors, English majors, etc. in the class, and that really brought diversity as well to discussion. I think by the time you're a senior, you'll look back at this class and really appreciate how unique it was with all the different perspectives that are offered. We're really excited about this course because you are the future of climate change in the world today, and the decisions that you make are going to have profound impacts on the future. And by giving you this opportunity to really think about climate change, to think about the major issues, the hard hard challenges of climate change, we're hoping to provide you with the ability to become one of the leaders in the 21st century. Who wouldn't want to learn about this kind of stuff? It's so much fun.